Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Happy Monday. It is Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. And today's card we're going to do is this spritzed reinker card. This is using glossy cardstock and some of our reinkers and a little spritz of water. So this is actually a case from Dawn Olszewski. She had it on her Facebook page and I wanted to do something with the um, new glossy cardstock that's back in the new catalog. And so this is the card that I chose to create for my Wow Wednesday. So what you'll need is a piece of glossy cardstock. I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit shiny, so it is different than our ultra smooth white. It's kind of like a photo paper quality, but I can tell you from experience, photo paper does not work. Uh, there is something different in, in the texture, in the creation process. This is just glossy cardstock and this is what you need to create this particular card. Now, it is messy, okay? So you can tell I've been working. Um, you're gonna get your fingers dirty, you might get your area dirty, so be careful with what you are doing where you're spritzing because you'll have some, some um, spray back. So be careful where the rest of your projects are or if you're working with your neighbor, you don't wanna get them inky. So the first thing that we need to do is take a couple drops of reinker, and I have Tangerine Tango and Berry Burst. And you don't need a ton of, of uh, reinker on there, just a couple strategically placed drops. Too much and, and it kind of just bleeds together too much and kind of looks muddy. So you really don't need a ton of of ink. Now you need a spritzer of water. Anything works. This is our Stampin' Spritz. Uh, you can use an empty sprayer bottle. Anything, just plain water, no alcohol. And you're just going to start spritzing and letting those bleed. Then you're going to take a napkin, paper towel, whatever you have. Just start blotting off the excess uh, ink spots that you have. And I like to turn it, kind of keep pulling off and not, tr uh, not trying to bleed the colors too much, just some dabbing. And depending on what you're using, napkin, paper, towel, you might get some texture in that picture or in that uh, ink. And that's because I have there, there's like my paper towel kind of has some nap to it. And so it just kind of gives it a um, textured look. Okay, so that's all there is to it, just doing some blotting. You're gonna let that air dry, okay? Or you can, if you have your heat tool, you can zap it with your heat tool, but you definitely need to let it have some drying time before you work with the rest of your card. So I did go ahead, there's my dry one, and I'm gonna take a piece of Ultra Smooth Whisper White and attach these two. Now what'll happen, you can kind of see that your cardstock starts to want to, to bend a little bit because you've made it wet. So I do like a lot of adhesive. So I am not going to spare the adhesive on this one because it wants to kind of roll up a little and I don't want my card to fall apart. Okay, so lots of adhesive on that. We're gonna put that layer of Whisper White and I'm kind of wondering if I'm hoping I cut this to the right size. It seems a little large, but I guess we'll find out soon. Okay, make sure that is good and stuck on there. Now, while I have it flipped over, I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back and just use my little white baker's twine. I'm gonna tie that around here, just tacking that in the back. And I have, I did two pieces here a little bit thicker and then I'm going to take a piece of berry burst cardstock as my base fold that in half and then we're going to attach our card to that base I always like to put a little bit of adhesive on those ties that are around the back so they don't come popping off on me well, I guess I did cut it to the right size Maybe just my eyeballs are a little wonky this morning. Okay, so there we go. So there is our card. This is no stamping card on that. How about that? Absolutely no stamping. 
I took our happy birthday thinlet, ran that through the Big Shot with our gold foil paper, and I put a Sizzix adhesive sticker on the back. So you, you attach that sticker to the back of your cardstock before you, you uh, run it through the Big Shot, and look, it creates a gorgeous sticker. I don't have to worry about any muss or fuss with any other adhesive, carefully pulling that off because this is so detailed and beautiful. And I'm just gonna stick that happy birthday right on there. So easy peasy, mac and cheesy, right? Okay, took another piece of Baker's twine and I'm just gonna slide that under those, those two little pieces there and I'm gonna tie myself a bow, maybe. Let's see if my fingers will be working today. Yeah, there we go. Just a cute little bow. And final, final touch, of course, bling. So we're gonna take, these are the gold faceted gems. I'm gonna pop one of these guys off. And just put a big one and a little one right there for a little added touch of something, something. So there you go. There is a super quick and easy card using a fancy pants technique. Um, thanks, John Olszewski. Love this one. You could use any colors. So, so fun and so pretty. So thanks so much for joining me, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I will catch you next week for Movie Monday.